it's Abby. I'm back from Singapore and I have a shopping haul. Today I'm going to share with you everything that I bought in Singapore and it's gonna be a little bit of a preview for upcoming videos because there are a lot of blind boxes and fun things but first my beautiful shelf I think it is due a dusting and maybe a little bit of a change I also thought it would be nice to use this as a staging area for everything that I bought and you know just to set it out so we're gonna take everything down and clear it off can you see how dusty this is everything needs a good cleaning I just noticed Madoka's missing her bow. Where did it go? I get a lot of questions about this. It's a washi tape stand. Isn't that cute? At some point I'm gonna clean those wires up, but today is not the day. Yee. Before I start bringing in all the things I purchased, I wanna show you this. It's a carpet or rug. What's the difference? Is a rug smaller? This is a rug that my friend Sylvia made for me. Does this look familiar to any of you? It's Lorian! The ears look so cute! And she got the nose perfect, the iconic Lorian nose. I love this so much. And yes, this is part of the Singapore haul because I brought it all the way back from Singapore. Thank you, Sylvia! Diving straight in! I bought a Tokidoki advent calendar and since it's mid-December, I got it for 50% off. I couldn't resist. And there's spoilers on the back, so I'm not going to show you guys. You may have seen other channels opening it, but I don't know anything about this, so I'm really excited to open it. It's going to be one of the 24 days, and we'll check it out together. And yeah, this was literally the first thing I purchased when I after I landed. The next thing I purchased, this was not like the second thing I purchased, but I got a mini brands advent calendar. I had actually seen this on Amazon.com or Amazon US and thought about importing it to Japan, but it was a little bit too expensive with shipping and all. So, but I found it in Singapore for, I think it was on sale as well. I think it was like $30, so 30 Singapore dollars. I was really excited and I grabbed one. I was gonna put this up here, but can't really see it. Anyway, I found these, I guess they're stationary blind bags, boxes, what would you call them? I found these at a shop in Jewel, which is the airport mall, which is beautiful by the way. Looks like there's stickers in here and maybe washi tape, a little cutting mat or craft mat, and pen. This was eight Singapore dollars. They actually had a bunch of these and my friend was like, just get the purple ones. So I got the two that looked the cutest to me. And this also has, it looks like a memo pad notebook. I'm not sure. Tape? Stickers? Question mark? And this one was five Singapore dollars, so I'm curious to see what's inside. Boring to some of you, an adult gift. I got this for my mom. Apparently TWGT is very famous in Singapore. It's a Singaporean brand. They had the prettiest packaging. I can't open this because it's all tied up but this is a beautiful box and I got two teas. Mom if you're watching this please don't. This is your Christmas present. I forgot what flavors I got. I'll have to try to remember. Another quote unquote boring adult gift. I got some chocolates for my dad because who doesn't love chocolate? Okay I lied there are a lot of people that don't like chocolate but apparently this is a brand from Switzerland? They had some really fancy looking chocolate bark but um, my friend said that their dark chocolate was good too so I got a selection of that. Yeah, these are just little gift ideas if any of you visit Singapore, even though this isn't Singaporean. Since we're on the topic of food, I got a bag of this. My friend told me that the Golden Duck is a very good brand. I didn't buy this last time. I was a little bit scared, but it is salted egg fish skin. And I tried salted egg this time, different salted egg flavored things, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give this a go. I bet it's gonna be pretty good. I like chicken skin, <laughs> like crispy chicken skin, so. We'll see. This is another brand she suggested. It is a spicy cassava chips. I assume that's a type of chili, maybe? And I love spicy things and they're gluten-free. And what country are these from? 
Indonesia. So if any of you have tried these before and like them, let me know. And if there are any other flavors that are good, let me know. I randomly saw Twisties at the supermarket and I was like, oh wait, there's this curry flavor that I really like. And they didn't have the big bag of curry ones, but I got the little bags and I may have already eaten some, but these are so good. If you ever see them and you've never had them, try them. And if you live in Singapore, I'm sure these are like your favorites because they're good. <laughs> I love these. I had forgotten these existed till I saw them in the supermarket and I got really, really excited. One more food item, the Tom Yum Seafood Cup Noodles. And in Singapore, they have a lot of flavors of cup noodle that I've never seen here in Japan. Nishin is a Japanese brand and my favorite are the curry noodles, but they create a lot of different flavors for overseas, I believe. So I saw someone eating these on the airplane and I don't know, I was like, I want to take some cup noodle home. So I got these. I'm gonna try them. I know that there are other flavors too, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge seafood person, so I'm gonna give these a go, and maybe next time we'll try some others. If there's a flavor that you really like, let me know, and I'll give it a go. This was a gift from my friend Sylvia. It is the Mini Brands Disney Store Edition Collector's Case. Ooh, and it says five minis to unbox. Includes two exclusive minis. I wasn't sure if there were blind bags in here. I guess there are. Maybe we'll open this at the end. Excuse my dogs. You all are gonna hear me talking about her a lot, but Sylvia was my host and guide during this trip, and she is one of my oldest YouTube friends that I'm still in touch with. And we like a lot of the same things, especially toys and crafting, but mainly toys. So we both love mini brands. Here's something cute that I wanna open just because I want it to sit on the shelf and you all can admire it. Sorry, Elle is throwing a tantrum because she thinks it's time to go out. And it is not. The sun is just setting a lot earlier. Meet Pikachu, also known as Pika Pika. And Paxley. My friend Momo Rave. Check her out and follow her on Instagram. She's gonna have a shop update probably next year, but um, just follow her for the cuteness, honestly. She made this for me and she was so sweet. It was my first time meeting her and ugh. So sweet. Anyway, she gave me this lovely, lovely gift. Isn't it adorable? I tried to learn how to crochet over the summer, but it didn't go well. So I've just decided that I'm gonna go to Momo when I want something. I already forget what this pattern or design is called, but apparently these coasters are based off of like Singaporean houses? I might have to ask Sylvia to explain this to me again but these are the diatomite, diatomite coasters. I don't know, but they absorb liquids very well. I love these coasters and the designs are Disney and I guess it's historical, traditional designs from Singapore. How pretty are these? So don't drop them, they will crack. I actually have a bath mat made out of this material and it's really nice because it doesn't get soggy. It just absorbs the water. Are those nice? That's actually another thing Sylvia and I have in common. We both love Donald Duck. She actually loves birds, mainly cockatoos, but our love for Donald Duck was something that brought us together as well. I'm gonna show you a mountain of toy blind boxes at the end, but here's another thing I found. I guess these technically aren't blind boxes because the boxes are marked, but these are little DIY kit boxes, and I'd never seen these before, so I grabbed this one. Apparently like space and astronauts are a popular theme right now. Sylvia was saying it was probably more of a Chinese thing than Singaporean thing. I saw a lot of space motif items. But anyway, I got this at the Green Party. I saw these shops everywhere. And I got this little, I think it's a little tag kit. Honestly, I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out together. One of my goals for 2023 is to get my craft channel running, so. We're gonna start with kits. We're gonna start easy. And I say easy like I'm not gonna mess it up. So I don't know if this is a resin kit or not. Sylvia actually did read this and explain it to me, but I'm a very bad listener, so I don't remember. But um, it looks like a resin charm to me. Maybe one of you can read it and tell me if I'm right or wrong. But um, this kit was eight Singapore dollars. I think the other one was two, but it looked really cute. I think, yeah, I got this one. I wouldn't have minded if they would have been blind packs because they're all cute, because, you know, I love the element of surprise, but this is fun too, knowing that you got the one you want. We're not even halfway through. Quick plug for my Instagram, trying not to give any spoilers. Sylvia took me to a gotcha store. It was kind of like a little arcade. They had crane games and gotchas, but they were a type of gotcha I'd never seen in Japan before. And that's gonna be a reel over on my Instagram. Maybe I'll post it on my YouTube too as a short, we'll see. I know some of you don't have Instagram, so let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see it as a short as well. Here is another thing Sylvia made for me. It's a little Snow Snow, who's from Tokyo Disney actually. And she made a little, I guess this is like a snow dome, snow globe. 
She makes the prettiest terrariums and she does leather crafting too. She does a lot of things. Like I said, we started talking because of my crafting, but then we kind of became toy buddies. But um, she crafts a lot more than I do and she's very, very talented. So check out her Instagram and see the amazing things she makes. But she also made me this little snow snow. How cute is he? Also very appropriate for this season. He's gonna live on my desk. Since we're on the topic of crafts, do you guys remember Sabby Loves? I think the OG old school YouTubers and viewers will remember, but Sabby Loves is, was, is, is an amazing crafter, artist. I think she's focusing more on art now, but I knew her because of her polymer clay charms and she was amazing and we kind of kept in touch on and off, but She's from Singapore, so I actually kind of randomly saw her post a story on Instagram and I was like, hey, Savvy, I'm in Singapore. And I was going to Comic-Con the next day or the next day, one of those days, and I asked if she was going and she said no, but actually my friend is boothing at Comic-Con, so stop by our booth. And her friend had prepared a bunch of goodies for me. Look at this. Look the cutest stickers, cute prawn studios. How adorable. So I didn't directly get to meet up with Sabby, but it was really good to reconnect. And I got some of her merch! I also got to meet one of my favorite artists at Comic-Con. And you guys may know Goldfish Kong. I think I'm saying that right? And actually my friend had been to Anime Fest Asia, I think it's called AFA, the week before and she'd actually gotten me some signed postcards from her. But um, I got to see her at Comic-Con, which was amazing, and I got to tell her how much I love her art. My friend got me a sheet of these cute stickers, and she handed them all to me when I landed. I looked through them, totally forgot what she gave me, and at Comic-Con, I bought these three sheets. But we laughed about it and said that she knows me well, because... Boxes! And then I got these two sticker sheets. I have some pins, too. I just need to find them. I actually think they're in here. So I went to Universal Studios Singapore. It was my second time going. It was a lot of fun. We got rained on, but we rode their huge roller coasters like total seven times, I think. It was fun. I didn't buy too much at Universal, but I did see some cute washi tapes and they say Universal Studios Singapore on them. I do have some Universal Studios Japan washi tapes and they're a similar style, but I don't think I have these designs, so. I'm assuming they're exclusive. I don't know, but look how cute and vibrant they are. Obviously they're both from Minions or Despicable Me. Here we go, here are the pins from Goldfish Kong. This one I got from my friend that likes whales. Isn't that cute? And this is one that my friends got me. You are loved. It's so adorable, so cute, I love. And of course I got washi tapes. I got these at the Tokidoki booth at Comic-Con. It was buy one, get one free, and they were like $5 a roll. So got, I think they had some more designs than this, but I got the pretty ones for the ones that I thought were pretty. I'm excited to swatch these, which reminds me, we have a massive washi swatching video coming up soon. So I will add these to the pile. My friends also got me a Goldfish Kong washi tape. She didn't have any at Comic-Con, which was a little unfortunate because I wanted all of them, but at least I have this one. It's really cute. Very vibrant. And I think it's die cut as well. I got these two Disney ones. This was like the first day I was in Singapore and I was just like in shopping mode. So some cute washies. These are in with the washi tapes. This was two Singapore dollars. Um, I think these are stickers. I don't think they're memos. See, I don't even remember. Oh yeah, they're all little sticker sheets. Oh, these are interesting. Yeah, I didn't get to open them up and look when I bought them. But these will be good for journaling, letter writing, just decorating and stuff. Oh, look at the avocados. That's fun. I have seen people using these on like journaling videos and stuff. So I will make use of them. And just the packaging was really cute. I think they all have different art in them. Yeah. But that's fun. I got three. I think there were six different ones. The art on everything is just so cute. Ooh, I like this one the best. I guess they're kind of color-coded. Not really, though. Cute sticker box! Speaking of stickers, I went a little crazy at... What shop was this? Turtle, which was a shop that had literally everything. Here's the first pack. I've never seen stickers like this before. There's sheets of stickers in this pack. It was $2, which I felt was very cheap for the amount of stickers you get. 
and you can kind of see the designs here. They're very cute. Here's another one. Same type of thing, but different style. I tried to get a variety. I got the blue one for this one. I think there's a little bit of purple in there too. And then some sticker flakes with some foods. Some more sticker flakes, and these are just words, I think. August, holiday, enjoy. And it says enjoy 7-8. I wasn't sure why it said that and I asked Sylvia and she thought maybe it was a pun or something but we couldn't quite figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. But they're cute words and numbers. Thursday, September. <laughs> it's kind of random. Another pack of stickers. Just thought these were cute animals. Kind of a style that I've never really used before but I've been seeing a lot lately so I'm gonna challenge myself with these. And then sticker sheets. Honestly, I was just kind of drawn to this packaging. <laughs> And these come with multiple sheets as well. I don't know why, but I've kind of been collecting washi tapes with these, like the pretty girl fairy princess designs. I think they're very nice. It's the purple one. These are really good for filling up space on like days you don't do much for like journals and stuff. Oh, I missed this. Another pack of stickers. This is like a pink and blue. Very cute, very pretty. A pack of pens. I think these are highlighters. They kind of reminded me of the mild liners, but I really liked that they were square, so we'll give them a try. I do have a bunch of pens that I want to swatch, so that will be a future video as well. So much to do, so little time. Here's a set of lip smackers that Sylvia gave me. Aren't they cute? They're Sanrio. I wonder if they're all different scents. Oh yeah, it says... Five red apples tall, sweet strawberry shake, kiwi karopi, <laughs> chocolate and ice cream, mischievous mango, blueberry butterfingers, vanilla pudding pop, and sweet cinnamon roll. I bet these all smell good. Alrighty then, I think it is on to the toys that I've purchased. First one, a foodie mini brands because I've never opened the foodie ones before, so I was excited to see them in Singapore. We've started to get the mini brands here in Japan. I think they're Toys R Us exclusive, but I've only seen the Disney one, the first Disney series, and I don't know what series, but the original mini brands. And maybe the toy one? I know we have three different ones, but I know we don't have this one, so grab this in Singapore. It was on sale? I think it was about 17 Singapore dollars? Maybe it wasn't on sale, I don't remember. I'm also going to move the food out of the way to make room for toys. First and most important, we have a pink salt daku. So I want to say that this trip was a actually a really good learning experience for me. I would have called myself a big Pop Mart fan from before the trip, but mainly for their Disney figures. They do a lot of princess and Mickey and Friends figures. But because of this trip and because I got to go to so many Pop Mart stores, I feel like I got to learn about their IP, I guess, and the characters and artists that they work with. And I have found a new appreciation and love for Pop Mart. And long story short, I got to buy one of their exclusives because they opened a new shop in Singapore and we lined up for like an hour and a half to get in before opening. And I was able to purchase pink salt daku. Daku. Daku? Is that how I would say it with my American accent? Daku. 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 I forget how Sylvia said it. Here's a figure I got at Pop Mart, but I don't believe it's Pop Mart brand. They had a few other items there, but I thought this one was cute. And you'll be seeing this in a future video. This is just a sneak peek, so we're gonna go through them real quick. Zoe Fruit Planet. Super cute. Azura. Azura? Azura. Azura. I got a freebie because I made a lot of purchases, and it was Dance with Abo Friends. We love Abo Friends. Daku Music Festival. Daku. 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 This is apparently the newest Daku series, and there's some cute ones in here. Sweet Beans. This is another character that I fell in love with. They are really cute. This is the Akihabara series, so I really want the UFO Catcher or the arcade game. Another Sweet Bean one. This is a supermarket series. Again, very, very cute. Here I have, oh, another Zoe. I didn't realize I got so many Zoe blind boxes. This is Fairy Zoe. Dunny, who is another new favorite. I think her face is adorable. Can't wait to open this. Pucky, though I think in Japanese they call him Pookie. So I'm not sure which is the right pronunciation. I want to say Pucky. I don't know, but this is the Animal Tea Party and has kind of 
not quite Alice in Wonderland -y vibes, but it's different animals. Another very popular Pop Mart character. I may or may not have followed all these artists. Oh no, what happened to the box on Instagram and Twitter? The Wonderful World series by Yusuke Ueno. I am a big fan of this artist now. I only got one of these, but I really want Iggy and Lily because they're, they're the perfect pair. But I also really do want Happy Call. Of course, can't not get some Disney princess ones. This is the fairy tale friendship one where they're with all their little buddies. This one, I kind of took a risk. It's the Disney princess in Han Chinese costume. And the costumes and princesses are very, very pretty. And there's nothing wrong with the princes. It's just that I don't really want just a single prince. So I almost got two, but decided to stick with one. So we'll see who I get. There's two secret ones though. This is one of the very popular sets that keeps selling out, I believe, or in Japan anyway, I think. Here is the, is this in focus? Alien series, isn't that cute? Can't wait to open this one. Okay, there is one set that I got multiples of and it's Yoki. I learned about Yoki this trip. For the longest time, I thought Yoki and Kenneth were the same character, so I apologize, but Yoki is a bat and Kenneth is a fennec. And I thought this series was really cool. Different styles of Yoki. It's called Thaw Yoki. Well, this one is. And it's Yoki the Moment. I may or may not have gotten three of them. On the very last day at the airport, Sylvia and I got matching Kenneth blind boxes and we opened them together. You guys can see what I got. I'll post a photo on Instagram, but Kenneth is so cute. And obviously, now that I'm looking at them, they are not the same. But when they weren't side by side, they look kind of familiar. <laughs> I also went to Miniso. It was my first time going to a Miniso. Apparently, um, Singapore doesn't have the Sanrio license items, so it was a lot of Disney stuff in Tokidoki, which was A-OK -okay with me. Aren't these cute? I got two of them. So we'll be opening these. Hopefully, one of them will be Donald. We're getting down to the end, guys. Don't worry. I got some Unicornos, and at Miniso, these were like $11. So they were cheaper than buying the newer sets at like Action City, which were like $15 to $18. I haven't been opening Tokidoki in a while, so I was perfectly happy with the cheaper older ones. Series 9, Metallico San Diego. I don't even know what this set's from. Is this like a Comic-Con set? And then two Mermicornos. Let's see, Series 4 and Series 3. I guess these are a little bit older, aren't they? So yeah, even after moving the food, it all doesn't fit. But this is everything I bought in Singapore. Did I go a little crazy? Maybe, but we're gonna have a lot of fun opening all of it. So if you're not already subscribed, please do turn on notifications and come back when I open all these goodies and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!